Imagine the world being in the lake of fire right now. You're in your bed, you're cozy, you're committing fornication, you're on drugs, you're partying like there's no tomorrow, there's no care in the world. You're gonna always wake up the next day, you don't gotta be responsible. Mommy and daddy is always going to take care of you. You're living in a fantasy. You're living irresponsibly. You're reckless. <clears throat> You're hopeless. You're going by in life. Depending on other people. Holding on to the government. You're just living just to exist. And just to get by and do the minimum. You know who you are. And there's a lot of people out here. Who thinks this way? The people who are unrealistic when it comes down to reality. A lot of people are so afraid to get into reality because they know deep down they would not be prepared for it. The future is scary the future is not something to joke about to say I'm going to make it to see another day no one knows when their last day is going to be I don't know when the world will be gone but we have a merciful God and we're given many chances and we're still here. I believe even from the Bible, as soon as our life ends, whatever age it is, we have a free will. It's either you do good or you do bad. There's no in between. There never is. You cannot have your cake and eat it too. That's how you become a selfish hypocrite. Because I notice there's many people out there that are like that. And they think that they are good people. Making yourself a good person doesn't automatically give you a ticket to heaven. That's that's being ignorant and you sound like you're coming off as someone who's entitled to just make it to heaven like you're your own god you're the boss that's that's called being prideful and god hates prideful people and people who are selfish liars slanderers fornicators idolaters idolaters so many things so many sins no sin is greater than the other. The second death is real. I've been grown up in the church. I just moved my way out from church, uh, from church, going back and forth and living in the world like there was no tomorrow. I was one of those people thinking that everything is going to last forever. A lot of things doesn't last forever. Yesterday, it felt like I was 14. Now, I'm 28. I'm about to be 30 in two more years. Next year is not going to be brighter. Joe Biden was a lot of people's hope because so many people are so brainwashed and comfortable to think that the unemployment would have kept going. They're going to get a free stimulus check. Everyone was comfortable because of COVID. Now look what's happening. No stimulus. Unemployment got cut off. And now Joe Biden is demanding a regulation of uh, uh, not even regulation, but for it to be 
mandatory, mandated for companies with more than more than 100 employees to get vaccinated or lose their job. So you basically have to be conformed to listen to your government and to the president's rules if you want to keep your jobs. So you're bending over backwards just to keep your job. I understand people may be in hard times. You have no choice but to go through this just to survive. It's sad at the same time that the world has came down to this. And the reason why I started the video off like that is because that is a message to a lot of you who even comes across this video. If you're new to my channel, new to this video, to think about it, think about your life and what you're going to do with it. Are you going to waste it getting by and thinking that you're going to make it to heaven? And you have no soul, no spirit. Now you dying and just going to be black, really? That's the stupidest thing that I ever heard. Too many people believe in science to preserve life, but scientists can't even save you either. They can't save you from dying. They can't save you from death. They're not God. They're not the controller of life or death. God is. People could, there's a lot of people that, that, are, that are unfaithful. And there's some people that they think, oh, I believe in God, but then they're, they're doing all the things that they know is wrong. A lot of people are ignorant in this world. I'm not boasting here to brag like I'm perfect. I know I'm not perfect myself, but it's better to strive for better for yourself, for your life and your future and the life after this life. Why do you think so many people regrets a lot of the things that they've done when they're closer to their deathbed? When they're closer to dying? When they're about to die? That's the only time you hear most people actually have remorse most of the time. Unless they're just they're just straight up evil. Then they know that they're, they're not going to make it to heaven. If you look up the YouTube channel 700 Club, there's hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of videos of witnesses that experienced going to hell and going to heaven. Look it up on YouTube. Google it. People who think that these people are crazy or they have some psychiatric problem or it's fake. Look it up. You can't believe all you want. But the only thing that you can't deny is death. Life and death. Naked we were born, naked we shall return. We're not just going to go to the ground and that's it. The future is no joke. There was a government shutdown. That happened. It could happen again. A lot of people are not taking life seriously. I was one of those people living in the fantasy, living in the bubble. And as soon as things got real, oh crap, I'm panicking. I don't know what to do. I need help. This is what it is. This is what it means to be a leader, a role model, knowing what to do. Because a lot of people that are around you, if they figured that you were prepared, you had backup food supplies in case of emergency, et cetera, what do you think will happen? They will try to take advantage of you and rob you. You don't allow people to reign in your home to even cause destruction to yourself and risk your family's lives in their hands. God blessed us with a free will to choose. That's how much God loves us. You live by evil, you're only going to one place. You live by good, following God's commandments from the Bible. 
is what we're meant to do because he created us. We didn't breathe life into ourselves. Life didn't just didn't pop up out of nowhere. And 2022, I don't even know what's going to happen, but based off how, uh, uh, from everything that's going right now, it's going to get bad. We're already are in an inflation economy. The debt bubble is still rising up. If you look up the debtclock.org, you could see the trillions of dollars that the U.S. owes in debt. A lot of people think this is not going to affect them. It's going to affect everybody. This is why I said to stock up on food, be prepared, have your own money. I'm praying I don't even have... Uh, I pray that I don't even be in a bad situation where I have no choice but to take the COVID-19 vaccine just so I could get by. I don't want to put my trust in man, science, or anyone else other than God. Why should I? When they could double cross me. When there's so many rules and laws and things that could change and switch up. When next thing you know you have a job, tomorrow you're homeless. This world could pass away in the future. All the things that you have of the world is not going to go with you when you go. We only live one life. You have a choice to submit to God or submit to evil. This is Woken Up here. Peace out. Let me know what you think.